you think I want to see him? No. <laughs> I think a lot of us as believers, uh, maybe not a lot of us, but some, have lived a life so reckless and so inconsistent with, with what Christ desires them as his children. Uh, they are not going to be very happy to see his face. They want him to stay a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. The whole time she told me that I was hoping he wouldn't come. <laughs> I'd be, my whole day was messed up. Because she said she would tell daddy. Tell your daddy when he get here. And so I couldn't really enjoy the rest of my day. I couldn't, I couldn't do any more foolishness. I had been because my whole day was messed up. When he, when he got there, we finally had to go through what we did. I, I, I was back all right. But uh, I can remember those days, and I know some of you can too. Um, but we in the, Brother Earl read us three passages of scripture this morning. And uh, 1 Timothy um, chapter 2. 2 Timothy, and chapter 4 of 2 Timothy, 1 Timothy, and also chapter, chapter 3. Did you cut me, Carly? Paper cut. Paper cut, that's exactly what it is. I thought Earl was bleeding, but... Well... Earl was bleeding. You need a band-aid, I got some. Uh, yes, I would like to have a little spot. Don't spot the Bible. <laughs> the, um, the thought that we have here is that the church was in decline. And what I mean by in decline was it was no longer living in the proper spirit of the church of Christ. You see what I'm saying? And I think that we can agree with that. The church has fallen away and it has declined. And it's not. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. And the, uh, with that in mind, how are, how are the believers supposed to conduct themselves? That was the thought. Until I was butchered by my own take part, my own Bible, my own, my own recovery version. <laughs> <laughs> he he uh, in First Timothy, in the in the uh, fourth chapter, he speaks about the, the decline of the church. Mm -hmm. In the second, third, second Timothy, mm -hmm. third chapter, he talks about further decline. Mm -hmm. Now, remember when it first, when the Paul first set up these churches, they were doing fine. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, erroneous teaching came in, mm -hmm. and doctrines of devils, and mm -hmm. seducing spirits, and therefore seduced uh, the believer away from his what? First love. Mm -hmm. And I think that Paul, uh, the book of uh, of Gen I mean, book of Revelation speaks about uh, the church at Ephesus, how that the church, it had lost its first love. Mm -hmm. There has to be something that takes you away from that which you love and have you fallen in love with it. Mm -hmm. And has to be seduced away. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. when, uh, uh, you're, when we were younger and we were uh, caught mm -hmm. and you saw someone you liked, mm -hmm. You would try to seduce them away well, from uh, from the other party, yeah. male or female. Mm -hmm. The key here is that you had to have something to, do, to, to seduce them to. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. In most cases, it was either the way you looked, the way you are your car, mm -hmm. or your education, or something that they were they you seduced them to. Mm -hmm. But in these days and times, Paul is talking about seducing spirits and doctors of devils that have you seduce you away from the simplicity of Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on now. 
on there. Now, uh, and the and the thought that I have here, the is in, is in chapter two of um, First Corinthians, First uh, Timothy, mm -hmm. is how to deal mm -hmm. with this. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't I didn't hear all about this one because I was busy, but I did know he, he had some good stuff going on in here. Mm -hmm. I, I heard it. Uh, the, the remarks and the, and the hallelujahs. And so we hope that we are sharing something to complement that, that particular message here. Because what I wanted, what, what I believe the Holy Spirit is getting us to do is to see how we have to conduct ourselves mm -hmm. even in the midst of the decline of the church. Right. Mm -hmm. The church has fallen away yes, sir. from its first love. Right but there are some who are still clinging on to Christ. Amen. He is our first love. Amen. He's the first one that I could actually say I really love. Mm -hmm. and, and actually didn't feel any reservation about it. I love my wife, but I love Christ also. Mm -hmm. I love my children, but I love Christ also. Mm -hmm. And I love Christ more than I do my children mm -hmm. or my wife. Mm -hmm. Because without that love for him, I cannot properly conduct myself and on. behave myself uh, in the spirit of Christ without the love for him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. All right, now. And my love for the brethren mm -hmm. Come on, yeah. in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. in the body. Right? True. There has to be a love for the brothers. Yes, yes. There has to be a love for the sisters Amen. in the body of Christ. Yes. And we all know how to handle ourselves in the house of Almighty God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. But the decline of the church has put forth some, some um, uh, uh, outstanding things that are going on in the decline of the church. Mm -hmm. Okay, I exhort the chapter 2 of uh, Timothy, 1 Timothy. Mm -hmm. I exhort thee therefore first of all mm -hmm. <coughs> petitions and prayers mm -hmm. and intercessions. Mm -hmm. And thanksgiving be made for what? All men. All men. Everybody. All men. All men. Then, on the behalf of kings mm -hmm. and all those in high position, mm -hmm. that, they, that we, mm -hmm. we who? Church. The church. The church. Mm -hmm. May live, uh, may be live, mm -hmm. may, may be lead a quiet. Mm -hmm. And tranquil life, godless when all gravity. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, of course, the, oh yes, yeah, the church is in decline. Mm -hmm. But if you're still clinging to Christ, mm -hmm. the way you don't get upset or you fall into this rut mm -hmm. and decline with them, mm -hmm. you gotta pray. Yes, Amen. Amen. That's true. You gotta pray. Amen. 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 You gotta pray. Yes, sir. And because the this 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 war mm -hmm. is going on in uh, higher higher in the with, with darkness mm -hmm. and the principalities and the powers of darkness that are ruling in high places, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can't fight them with guns and no. and pistols and stuff like that. No, no. no. You got to do it the way. Prayer. 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 That's how you defeat the enemy is to pray. You can't get the enemy fighting the enemy on his, on his ground. No. Because he has all the weapons to tear your little, your little honey all the pieces. But once you engage into prayer in the spirit in Christ Jesus, then you get victory after victory because Jesus said, I have overcome what? This world. So, you know, he said, on behalf of the king. And a lot of times there were kings in those olden times, but there wasn't too, I don't think that was a president, but president came later as in a democratic society. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but he's talking about leaders here. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are not satisfied with leadership mm -hmm. in these United States. I am actually appalled at the leadership of the, in these United States. Mm -hmm. I am. Mm -hmm. And in the church, mm -hmm. and in the politics, oh, yeah. and in the school system. Come on, the school system is just, uh, just perfect. Mm -hmm. yes, and in the, in the, in the agriculture system. And in the entertainment system, no matter where it's found, leadership there is deplorable. Mm -hmm. what, what am I going to do about it? 
Am I going to go around and get everybody straight? No. No. Am I going to get a, a protest? No. Take a bus up to Washington? No. And protest? No, no, no. Paul said, don't get involved with that type of, of activity in the cardinal mind. But do this. Pray. Pray. On the behalf of, the, of those in high position. Maybe you don't like what the president is doing. Well, how about praying for him? Yeah, yeah. Instead of talking about it, yeah. call them all kind of names. Yeah. What are you to pray about? Yeah. And those in religious uh, leaders, instead of uh, making uh, comments about them, why don't you pray about it? Yeah. You know, the Pope made a... No, it was in the, in the, in the newspaper. Yeah. Right on the front page. Yeah. Don't criticize uh, homosexuals. Mm -hmm. And don't... Uh, Gay marriage and yeah. all that kind of stuff. That's a doctrine from hell. That's a seducing spirit and doctrine from hell. But you, you, you pray about that. You don't go around uh, 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 protesting. That's silly. You pray about that and that God will be out. And he said, now, in the results of you praying about that, you know what's going to happen? You're going to live a quiet, quiet life and peace. Yes, that. But see, when you're praying about those particular things, what happens is the spirit of, if you go after these things, it's not Christ. It is you going to get things changed. True. But if you're praying, then Christ in you allows you to overcome every situation and you can live a quiet and what? Tranquil life. And I mean a peaceful life. You don't be fussing. And every time we get together, we ain't talk about how the president do it. Well, ain't going to change nothing. Ain't going to change nothing. We're talking about Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what we should be talking about. Definitely. Should be praying. But remember this. When you come together, what do you talk about? No, no, no. You don't have to don't answer me. Don't answer me. I'm just putting a proposal <laughs> for you. Don't tell me. Don't, don't tell me what you, you, you talk about. When you come together as your little group, when you go to the grocery store, when you go to your, your, your little eating places, when you meet on Saturday night or Saturday evening, what do you talk about? When you meet with your family and wives and children, what do you talk about? Football? Basketball? The government? Baseball? What do you talk about? What is your main interest here? Paul said, no, you ought to be praying. Because all that is worldly activity. You ought to be praying. And look what else it says. So you can line up a quiet and tranquil with life of all what? Godliness. You can live a life that reflects God. Amen? Some of these places you go and you, you hear about the government, you hear about everything but God. Now, that is good and acceptable in the sight of what? Of God. He likes for his children to be praying. Praying about the president, praying about the Congress, praying about the laws and rules and regulations of the land, praying about the drug pens, praying about all those, those things out there. Not going out and trying to fight on yourself, but because you can't fight them because it's, it's, it's cardinal. But you can fight in the spirit through prayer. Amen. Now, and verse 4 said, if you live a tranquil life, then another result going to happen. Who desires all men to be saved? God desires all men to be what? To be saved. And come to what? Full epinosis. Yes, sir. Of the truth. Amen. Who is the truth? Jesus. The truth is Jesus. Jesus. Yes, sir. He didn't say that here, but there's only one truth. That's true. And that's Jesus. Amen. I am the truth Amen. and the life. No man oh, comes to the Father but, but by me. Amen. Yes, sir. That's right. <coughs> he goes on there. For there is one God, one God. and one mediator. Well, Who is the mediator? Jesus. Between God and man. And he right. goes on to share with us the man Christ right. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. That's who you should be praying to. Yes. He, is a, he is actually 
over all principalities and power. Yeah. He's over everything. So why don't we be praying right. to him? <clears throat> Since he's over everything, all principalities, all powers, if he's the head of it, why don't we pray to him? Yeah. Instead of whining yeah. about the president, yes, or whining about the school board, why don't we get to pray? Yeah. Don't let it go to PTA me and these other me. But why not pray about those things that we are so desperately concerned about? Yes, <clears throat> All right. Then he says, who gave himself yeah. as a ransom. Yes, What's a ransom? Right. He, bought, he bought something. We were ransomed. He ransomed. He ransomed us from where? From the devil. From his kingdom. He translated out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. The ransom for all the testimony to be born in his in, in its own time. And then he says, "Which I am appointed a herald." A preacher, uh -huh. apostle, I speak the truth, I do not lie, a teacher of the Gentiles and faith and truth. Yeah. That's who I am. Yeah. This is what I do. I don't do anything else. I don't talk about football. I don't talk about wrestling. I don't talk about anything but Jesus. Mm -hmm. you, you see what I'm saying? Okay. Now, if you're going to talk about some of these things, you make sure that you get back to Jesus. Mm -hmm. You don't want anything to dominate your life Anything that dominate your conversation without Christ. Right. He is the one that fills you up. He's the one that should be spewing over. Yes, your sir. cup oh, running oh, over oh, because yeah. of a Christ. Oh, so if anything is running out of you or over, Jesus. it should be a Christ. Yes. Yes. Amen. I said, I desire all men in the declining days of the New Testament church where men are giving heed to seduce the spirits and the doctrines of devil. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Where perilous times have come, where men have become lovers of God, lovers of, lovers of pleasure, more than the lovers of God. Amen. Let's go there. Second Timothy. Second uh, Timothy chapter 3. And you know what? He Contrary to the way people think, he's not talking about unbelievers. He's talking no. about church. Yeah, he's talking about church. Yeah, he talk about church. Amen. We're not talking about the unbeliever out there. Because that's what he does anyway. But he's talking when the church is in decline, you're going to find these characteristics among those who belong to God. Amen. Look what it said. Chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Chapter 3. I got to get that. Mm -hmm. Perilous. Yes, sir. I mean, dangerous. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Come on, man. Perilous. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know that in the last days yeah. of the declining of the church. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by declining, I think with the leader for the it's a, it has a sickness. Sickness. It's been invaded with false doctrines. And demons and yes, devils. Sir. So the church is on what? It's on decline. on decline. And you can see that in 1 Timothy chapter 4 mm -hmm. and also here in 2 Timothy chapter 3. Mm -hmm. He's not talking about, he's talking about the church on decline. Mm -hmm. Paul didn't have any other reason to refer to anything else. Mm -hmm. He's talking about church. Mm -hmm. It's Christ's church. Mm -hmm. And this you know in the last day, the difficult time. Shall come. Mm -hmm. For men shall be lovers of mm -hmm. self. Yes, yes, self. Yes. And lovers of what? Money. Money and money. And boasters. Yeah. Arrogant. Mm -hmm. Rot mm -hmm. violence. Mm -hmm. Disobedient to parents. Mm -hmm. Unthankful and unholy. Mm -hmm. Without mm -hmm. natural affection. Mm -hmm. Implacable. Slanders. Without self-control. Savage, not lo lovers of, of, of good. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the decline of the church. And you see it. Amen. In some churches, all of this is practice. Yeah. If not at all one time, it, you can find bits and pieces of it occurring on some in some particular denomination. Mm -hmm. Verse 4. Tra traders. Mm -hmm. Good gracious. Mm -hmm. And they do trade. They're tricky. Get your money. Yeah. Yeah. 
traitors, reckless, blinded pride, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God. Having an outward, see, oh, this time we know you're talking about, the, about believers. Uh -huh. Having an outward appearance yes. of godliness that they, they, they are there for God. Yes. I'm on God's side. Yes. But inwardly denying the power yes. of, uh, of that be. Mm -hmm. That's the Holy Spirit. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yes. They're doing things the way they want to do it. Yes. They're saying things the way they want to say it. Mm -hmm. And praise God, we have to keep on what? Praying yeah. that we won't get involved with the decline or be actively carrying on this decline because we are praying that God will give us strength and help us to what? Overcome. Overcome. Mm -hmm. I thought it was good. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you, Lord. This is the, the, the life of the normal Christian. Is what? Pray. Mm -hmm. The life of the normal Christian. The normal Christian is one that's living where? In the spirit. The abnormal is living where? In the flesh. So the normal believer is living in the spirit. And he is actually carrying out those things that Christ has commanded us in the apostles' doctrine. Here it is, pray for kings, for princes, for all those in authority. Pray without ceasing in every place all the time. Keep on praying. When you're in your car, pray. When you're in your, in your, in your bathroom, pray. When you're going along walking, pray. When you get on your job, pray. When you're in school, take a pray. Even though they, 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 the outlaws pray too, you still can pray because you have him on the inside of you. Keep on praying. No matter. The normal Christian, his life is filled with what? With prayer. Everything he do, he does it. He don't do anything before prayer. He keep right on praying. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Pray. Uh, and uh, that's it talking about men. But he uh, also has a few things to say to you women. He said, I desire all men, right? Verse 8. Pray in every place. Pray. Pray. Wherever you are in a place, pray. pray. You're in the 7 Eleven, why are you there? Pray. Pray. Ask you to bless everybody there. All right? Amen. You come out, go to the gas tank, to pump gas in the car. Every pray. place, pray. pray. Yes, sir. That's it. If your mind is in, in, a, in a sense of prayer, mm -hmm. prayer. Going to the store, pray. 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 Going in the food line, pray. what? Pray. 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 And lifting the holy hand. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not lifting the holy hand, you lift the hand and do something that's unholy. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> pray. All right. Now, we, we'll get to the sisters. That's what it's saying here. Amen. And it's not, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything here. I'm saying similar. You should, your sisters should have the same type of, of attitude about prayer. Yes, sir. Right. But at the same time, women have to adorn themselves. And what do you mean by adorn? Dress. 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 Themselves in what? Some St. King James where it said moderate. Modest. Modest. But in this proper and this recovery, it's a proper clothing. Yeah. Proper. Proper. And what do I mean by proper clothing? Say again, honey. Cover things up. Yeah. Praise God. <laughs> right, right on top. I don't think it's said any better than that. Close things up. And modest. modest. You mean up, becoming up her, but not to the point that where when, when you step out the house, you got to have your leg out and chest out. Yeah, and, so you know, and, and you get down the road, you get to church, and the brothers can't, can't even stay still because they're looking at you. Well. Stuff like that. That's what he's saying here. How can you pray if you are all actively involved with that type of current on? And you, and you sisters and you sisters have to make sure, and I'm, and I'm saying, you guys are just good here. What I'm saying, you got to make sure that you don't do anything to disturb a brother. Because he's in prayer. Amen. You see what I'm saying? That brother in prayer. You, you ain't got to be disturbed at all. You make sure you got the miles of pearl on. And you got yourself covered up. Because you don't want to disturb him because he's in prayer. Right? Yes, he is. Lord He's in prayer here. All right? And, and, and sobriety. Yeah. What do you mean by 
so bright. Mm -hmm. so what kind of man? Right man. Yeah, right man. Right yeah. When you talk to a sister, uh, she should have the proper answer yeah, and say the right, right, right thing instead yeah. of being what? Like the old that further, silly. 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 And the women should be going about in the house to the house, being busy about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what Paul says also. Mm -hmm. You want to be busy, be busy about things in your own house. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Take care of your own husband. Mm -hmm. Look out for him. Take care of your own children. Look out for him. You see what? And teach your own children and your own uh, young girls how to love the husband and take care of the children. Mm -hmm. But that's not going on nowadays. Oh. Oh. Throwing, yeah, throwing away children. Modest of prayer. Not with what? Braided hair. Braided hair. Braided. And look, this, that was over 2,000 years ago. Yes, yes. So Satan doing the same thing now. Yes, he is. And my, 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 my grandson, uh, Dale, I'm always teasing him because he always said, we got, we got the same thing. I said, Jay, we got the same thing. He said, no, we don't. <laughs> The same thing is, is happening now, happened back there in the in the olden times. Oh, yeah. Amen? You see what I'm saying? Well, now, yeah. it was braided hair. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with braided hair, no. but how you fix it and how much you got. I think that you you, you got to practice modesty here. Mm -hmm. Right? True. Amen. Now, now, when you're doing your hair, you, you can't be excessive with this. That's not modesty. <coughs> modesty means if you're going to do your hair and braid and stuff like that, how should you do it if you're doing it modestly? The knee? Don't throw all them yeah. color hairs in it. Green, purple, red, orange. <laughs> 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 you right on top. I see this too. Yeah, you're right on top. Big, yeah, well yeah, 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 yeah. And you so call, knees, you call attention to your, what? Yeah. To yourself. Yeah. To yourself. You're talking, and so you don't want to call attention to yourself because brother is trying to pray. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, excuse me. <laughs> Brother's trying to pray. Right, Earl? Brother's trying to pray. And you walk around with your hair all out here and red and pink and dreadlocks hanging out here to the ground. How can he pray? He watching you. <laughs> all right, now. now and, and braided hair and gold and pearl. <laughs> See, all this bling. bling, bling. Yeah, all this bling bling you got on you. And now how can a brother pray and concentrate all this bling going on? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you don't want to put that stuff on because it calls attention to yourself. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. And you want our attention to stay on, I'm not Jesus. using a brother, but I'm thinking about anybody. Anybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, pearls and, and what? Costly. Mm -hmm. Costly. Costly. Now what does that mean? Costly. 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 I got to go, go get me an East outfit. I'll get me a hat. East outfit. And wear it one time. And then the next Easter come down, you can't put it on because everybody saw it. <laughs> I'm thinking who in the world would remember that East outfit you had on. <laughs> women? Women? They, they remember? Women? Yeah. Women? Yeah. Women? Yeah. 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 Well, I'm, I'm sure <laughs> some women do remember. Yeah. 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 And the same thing they had most women. Most women remember yeah. that? Most women remember? I don't remember what I had on left yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> but he's not talking about me here. He's talking about you dear ladies. Oh, yeah. Don't yeah. wear cost their pearl. What does cost their pearl say about you? Flashy. 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 Want to be seen and heard. That's right. Want to be seen and heard. Your little high heels on like here. Mm -hmm. Like this. Your little, your little short dress on. Your little next toe right. It's mercy. <laughs> How in the world a brother goes to pray? How in the world a sister can pray? All the, when you come in, they talking about what you got on. And what you carry in your, in your, in your purse. And your hat you got on. And, ain't nothing, and Christ doesn't have a chance to even speak to the pastor. Or speak to the deacon. Or speak to the elder. Because all this uh, array of stuff 
is masquerading around in the front of brothers and sisters. Oh, yeah. This is what Paul is talking about here. Exactly. That's what he's talking about. Amen. It's not me. It's what Paul is saying. You need to stay attention, pay uh, pay attention to to Christ Jesus Amen. and what he's he what he's doing. He said, uh, but uh, but what benefits a woman? What benefits a woman? Professing godliness with all reverence in good works. That means respect for God and for your fellow brothers and sisters in good works. By doing those things that Christ has asked you to do in the what? In the spirit. There's a reason why God wants women to do certain things. Because to do it in any other way is going to stir up his economy. Alright? What I mean by that? You got women. Women look different than men. Amen. They are different. Some do. True. Well, we're not talking about that crap. <laughs> women, God made women different than men. Yeah, 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 yeah. He made yeah. man different than woman. Yeah. And when a woman put on her clothes, she looked different than a man. Oh, yeah. I'm not talking about that crap. I'm talking yeah. about, and when a man put his clothes on, he looks different than a woman. Yeah. You can actually tell the difference between the, the woman and the man because of the way they dress, yeah. the way they carry themselves, right? I'm not talking about that crowd that uh, that's that's going bananas. I'm not talking about that crowd. I'm talking about that crowd that still got some sense of who they really are. Amen. 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 Uh, and but when you have reverence for that, your dress, your conduct, and your behavior is is uh, suited for things that God wants you to do in the spirit. Yeah. In the spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. But but let let the woman learn in silence. In silence. Mm -hmm. Is keep your mouth shut. That's what he's saying. Amen. That's, that's what the book says. I, I'm not saying it. This is what, but let's let's try to get to understand what Paul meant yeah. when he said that. Uh, let's go to the footnote. What is up? Uh, Eleven. Yeah. The sisters learn in silence and to be subject to. Subject is for them to realize their position as a woman. As a woman. Mm -hmm. As a woman. In your footnote. It's in recovery version. Mm -hmm. uh, verse, uh, verse 11. Mm -hmm. First Timothy. Mm -hmm. Chapter 2. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I thought you guys were with me. What you put out here? Why, 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 why am I asking all these questions? <laughs> Somebody ain't with me. Oh, you didn't move? Oh, forgive me. <coughs> okay. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. See what I'm saying? Yeah. The sisters. That's what he's talking about here. Yeah. And Paul was an apostle. Every word is given by the, uh, uh, is, 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 is a part of the for reproof and for correction, right? Mm -hmm. That the man th maybe be third or first and do it all good works. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, yeah. Every word mm -hmm. is inspired by God, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So if it came through Paul, God was speaking through Paul. Yes. Right? Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So we get, we're going to get upset. Right? Don't get upset with Paul. And please don't get upset with me. That's right. That's right. That's you got right. something? That's Talk to God about it. That's right. <laughs> God has a reason for this. Mm -hmm. Amen. Here's the reason for the women should dress like, like they should. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Then he says, uh, but let, a, but let the woman learn in silence. Mm -hmm. uh, back on your footnote it says, <clears throat> the sister for the sisters learn in silence. To be subject is for them to realize their position as a woman. As a woman. And he will help, help us out here. This safeguard, see, the sisters. Yeah. And who don't want to safeguard the sisters? You don't want a sister getting into trouble. No. I don't want my wife in trouble. No. I don't want my wife doing anything that gets her in trouble. No. With the spirit and with the church. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do anything. People got to talk about it. True. Tell it oh, they just pass away. Blah, 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 blah. Stuff like that. You don't want that. No. So a woman learns this, she stays in subjection. Mm -hmm. You see Amen. what I'm saying? Amen. And she won't be an embarrassment to Christ, and neither will she be an embarrassment to her husband. No. Look what it says here. But some of them are wild, just can't keep their mouth shut. <laughs> Save God, the sisters from presumptuous and overstepping that position in the local church. What does presumptuous mean? 
taking a position that's not right for the human. Yeah. Or engaged in something uh -huh. that's, that's not right for the human. That had not been given to you. Yeah. Now this is what God says. Yeah. Right, right. Take it up with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, and once you begin to operate in subjection, you find that it is the most beautiful thing I think that, 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 that a woman can operate in. It's subjection. The husband has to be in subjection too. True. To the Lord. True. True. The woman has to be subjected to the Lord and to her. Mm -hmm. But she can't be subjected to her husband until she's in subjection to the Lord. Oh, yeah. I'm subjected to the Lord, but I can, I'm knocking my husband out. Yeah. I'm talking about it, <laughs> saying things about it. They have no respect for him at all. But you say you're subject to the husband. You're lying. You're not subject to, your, to, the, to the Lord. If you're not subject to the Lord, you cannot be subject to where? To your husband. The Greek word denotes submission. See also 3 and 4. This is good and acceptable in the sight of God, who desires all men to be saved and come to the full knowledge of the truth. Right? Now, let me, let me go ahead to the 11th chapter of 2 Corinthians. <clears throat> it's where Christ has set up the is no I'm sorry. It is first Corinthians. I'm sorry. First Corinthians. Eleven. Second. First Corinthians eleven. And you need to know this. And if you're subject to Christ, you be subject to all individuals, to women and to men, so that Christ can speak through you. Once you get upset and hyper. Christ ain't speaking through you. Mm -hmm. Well, he ain't got nothing to say to you. Through you. <clears throat> he may have something to say to you, but he had nothing to say through you. Mm -hmm. The headship of the universe. But I praise you, but I praise you because in all things you remember me and hold fast to the things that I have handed over, down even handed. <clears throat> them down to you. <clears throat> but I want you to know that Christ is what? Amen. Of uh, what? Every, Every man. man. Every Let's put the emphasis on that. Every man. Every man. And the man is the what? Head of the woman. Head of the woman. And God is the what? <clears throat> the head of Christ. So if God is the head of Christ, then Christ is the head of the church, then we're subject to him and all the commandments that they displaced before us. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, you're going to find out the reason. Go back to, uh, to, to, to um, Timothy. Verse 12. He said, no woman. Do not permit a woman. I do not permit a woman to teach. Or to assert authority over a man. But to be in... Quietness. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what do you mean by that? Authority over man. <clears throat> you, remember, you remember when uh, that's right. You remember when Adam and Eve mm -hmm. uh, got the commandments of God, that the tree of life, mm -hmm. of good and knowledge, good and evil. Who first ate them? Eve. Who did he tell it to? God told him, give instruction. Adam. Adam. So she took his, usurped his authority mm -hmm. by going ahead and eating of the tree. Mm -hmm. You see? And then she told him, mm -hmm. you go ahead and eat, I'm all right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's good. Ain't nothing happening here. But as soon as the animate, ate, the whole bottom fell out. Because <laughs> God gave him the, gave him command. Yeah. Now, she didn't give it to the woman. No. <clears throat> he, gave it to, he gave it to Adam. Uh -huh. Look here. But I do not permit a woman to teach or to assert authority over man, but to be in quietness. For Adam was what? 
Formed first form, and then what? Eve. Then Eve. Adam was 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 not deceived. Adam blatantly, knowing that God had told him, went ahead and did it. But he was deceived, uh, and uh, woman having been uh, quiet, deceived, has fallen has fallen into transgression. She fell into transgression because of what? Deception. And if a woman now speaks over a man, she's been been deceived. Because that's not what God said. God said no woman should be over a man in the church. Out there is something different. But I'm talking in the body of Christ. Alright. Let's go back and read again. Similar, oh, I said, let a woman learn in quietness and subjection. Do not permit a woman to teach or assert authority over a man, but be in quiet. For Adam was first formed, and then he, then he said, and Adam was not deceived. What does he mean by that? He was deceived by Satan. He was deceived by his wife. Say again. This is important. He was deceived by Satan. He was induced by his wife. He wasn't deceived by his wife. He was seduced. He was seduced. Yeah. He transgressed. He transgressed. Yeah, because see, that tree, you should surely die. Yeah, because that was straight up. That was straight up. Mm -hmm. He knew that. Mm -hmm. But Adam, but Eve was what deceived. Mm -hmm. She listened to the devil, and the devil deceived her. Mm -hmm. Any woman that's out of position in the body of Christ is because the devil that deceived her. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. You can, you can see it because all have everything has a, have a beginning. The deception of Eve. And the transgression of Adam was the first fall. Adam was Adam was, was well, he transgressed, but he even see, well, she, she was deceived. Mm -hmm. And so that principle is still in, in, in place even through the New Testament. Mm -hmm. It is better to have to help you to see the importance of the of that significant and, and the fact that women shouldn't be over men, but a man should be over man, mm -hmm. and woman should be subject to man. It's, just, it's a principle. Mm -hmm. And what do I mean by principle? Something like, mm -hmm. or this is an idea, mm -hmm. a principle. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can get another principle to help you to see this principle. Mm -hmm. All right, Paul speaks about a woman. He, he took it, he took us right back to Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. He didn't say anything was on, he gave us examples mm -hmm. of Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. Now, Adam, uh, was what Adam was, was transgressed, but he was actually deceived. And a woman who's in the position of authority, and I say a pastor or elder in a fellowship, she has been deceived. Mm -hmm. Can you see that, uh, Rosalind? Mm -hmm. If you can't, help me out here. Because this is important. Mm -hmm. That you get going along with something, a uh, doctrine from hell, because that is where it's from. What deception? This is what Adam. This is what uh, the devil used on Eve. It was his own teaching, his own doctrine. Mm -hmm. That you, 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 you be alright. Go ahead on. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said, she was help her, help him that that. She said, go ahead and eat. It was a doctrine, a, a teaching that she transferred to her husband. Mm -hmm. And so, if a woman in the, in the New Testament church is following the same type of principle. She is in violation of the, the apostles' doctrine as far as women teaching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you see it, Earth? Yeah. It's, 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 but now, now look, the, 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 the Eve mind, the Eve mind, and all, all you women have that Eve mind. I don't have it because I got Adam's mind. I had his mind, but I got a mind of Christ now. Yeah. When, you, when you're born into the world, you had Eve's mind. <clears throat> Earl, when he was born in, before he got born again, he had an Adam's mind. Mm -hmm. Once we gave, grow, and mature in, in Christ, we begin to take on more of Christ's mind. The, way, the, 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 the women, the same thing. The more you mature in Christ, you begin to take on Christ's mind. You see? Here, if you're, if you're still stuck in this, this Eve mind, you cannot get past this. Because all you're saying is, 
I, I, I don't see. I don't see why women can't can't do this, can't do that. See, that's what you're saying. That's your mind is saying that. It's not the spirit is not saying that. The spirit has already said what he wanted to hear. It is our spirit mingled with the divine spirit who agrees with this. But see, not not a lot of time is spent on on this, and so. Women just jump up and sit and speak, fuss and argue in the church and call the pastor down and stuff like that. But Paul said, you ought to keep your mouth shut. Don't, don't do that. Some women stand in the middle of the church and call the pastor down. Mm. Or a deacon. Amen. Huh? Yeah, are... Paul said, that's wrong. That's the truth. Well, you're right about that. But they, they do it. They do it. And they think they're all right. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they have this Eve type of mentality. That they say things whenever they feel like it. Okay, who's that? I don't want that. When you come on that pulpit, I'm going to get it straight. <laughs> and they'll put on little antics while you're in the pulpit. Yeah. Moving yeah. around and... Yeah. Uh -huh. Splapping yeah. pages. Splapping pages. So you, you, don't, you don't like it. You don't like what he said. Yeah. Stuff like that. You see, that's that Eve mind. What you say? <laughs> yeah. well, well, when you come in a place, you know who you sit next to. Uh -huh. Well, when I sit in that place, you get up and go. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, can you understand the principle? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now look, when everybody else is out of control, the believer ought to be in total control of his spirit in Christ's spirit. Mm -hmm. And just because this thing is done in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the Christian doesn't mean it's right. Mm -hmm. A lot of things been done in the church just because it's done in the church don't mean it's right. Some women like to, like to run the house. <laughs> if you're going to run the house, then you ain't subject to your husband. Am I right? And you ain't subject to Christ. You can't be subject to Christ if you're not subject to your husband. Right? <laughs> If you're subject to the Christ, <clears throat> then you're going to be subject to your husband. <clears throat> There's no jumping back and forth here. I'm all right with Christ, but I have a problem with my husband. Well, if you got a problem with him, you, you probably got a problem with Christ too. Because Christ asks you to be subject to your own husband. As unto the Lord. If that husband is acting anything like the Lord, you should be subject to him. If that man is handling his affair, and in the spirit, like the Lord, you should be subject to him. Amen. Because Amen. if you're subject to him, you are still subject, subject to Christ. To you can't be sub my wife can't be subject to me unless she's in subject to Christ. Amen. And I can't be subject to her in any manner unless I'm subject to him. Amen. You gotta be subject. You give what I mean by subject don't mean you become nothing. It simply means you give way. Yeah. You give way. It's like a yield sign. Mm -hmm. You know, you come to a yield sign, and you say, oh, I'm going on through here. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't go through the sign. Yield. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got your... <laughs> you, now, said, what, what, this is the way Carla does. She comes to me sometimes, she says, I, I want this out. Don't you think that... And she has put up a... As, as a yield. Yeah. I say something, she says, I don't want to go along with that. And she doesn't say it quite later. But you say, I disagree. But she yields mm -hmm. to that. Mm -hmm. And I go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she yields and I won't do that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's not all about being subject to. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes God will speak and say, well, she was right. Mm -hmm. She was right. Mm -hmm. And men have to be able to be subject to Christ and to the Spirit that he that when he says something, if Christ has said something to uh, have him to go along with it, he should not be ashamed. Because you're not being subject to her, you're being subject to Christ. Well, amen. Can you can you see that? Subject. And we give way to Christ in our life. That's subjectivity. We give way to him. Whatever Christ wants in his life. We want, we want it done. Right? Amen. I want Christ to work in me. I want Christ to form me. I want Christ to grow me. I want Christ to mature me. And all the time, I must walk in subjection. Amen. I can't be proud and arrogant and think Christ can change me. 
Bro, that's, that's all me showing up there. Definitely. All self showing up. Don't, don't fool yourself, children. Mm -hmm. The devil is uh, uh, full of these, these, these hellish doctrines. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he, if the, he had false doctrine, these seducing spirits. Yeah. Yeah. You, you got these women, amen. You you got women falling right, right, right behind them. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 you, have, you haven't heard the gospel yet. Mm -hmm. You haven't heard the gospel yet. Mm -hmm. Until you heard about the apostle. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. And all to keep from falling into that vein mm -hmm. uh, of, of, of disobedience, mm -hmm. of lying, mm -hmm. of cheating. A womanizing, mm -hmm. all that type of woman leadership, woman uh, matriarchy, all that type of stuff, you got to pray. Mm -hmm. That the Spirit will lead you and bring you out of that stuff, mm -hmm. or lead you and keep you from going into that stuff. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Yep, tell you how mm -hmm. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. He grabbed Eve. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Adam, oh, yeah, working, doing something. What was it? Work? Eve. Come on here. Come on here. Come She did. 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 She She did. 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 Every woman needs a covering. Oh, yeah. And God has set it up, that covering, to be uh, the man. Mm -hmm. God is Christ covering. Christ is man covering. And man is woman's covering. Amen. There has to be a chain of, of authority <laughs> out in the universe. If not, there's nothing but chaos. chaos. <laughs> and God set it up. I didn't set it up. He set it up. Yes, it is. He, he, he asked, him, asked us to comply with him for his eternal purpose. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 What you, we need to do is continue to what? Pray. Pray. Pray, Pray. for leadership, Amen. for churches, Amen. for denominationalism, Amen. for local churches, Amen. for men and women in the church. Amen. Pray for leaders in the church that they will be the men that God called them to be. Amen. 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 You can't, now look, you can't make your wife subjective. No. You can't make it. No. That's the truth. Well, she should be. No, she shouldn't be. Unless she's in Christ. Mm -hmm. If she's going to be subject, subjected to you, out of your demand, you ain't got nothing. Mm -hmm. You know the bulls wrong. You, you do what I tell you. I go, blah, 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 blah. You ain't got nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You just pray that your wife will come unto Christ. Amen. Amen. And Christ do the breaking. He do the bending. And you won't kick, but he, he does that kicking. He does all that. You don't have to do nothing but lift her up to Christ. That's all you got to do. And women, your husband is not subjected. All you have to do is lift him up to Jesus. Oh, yeah. And let Jesus have that poke up. Because <laughs> you'll go crazy trying to straighten him out. <laughs> Remember that. The normal Christian life is what? Pray. 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 And women, be in subjection to your own, own husband. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you go places, husband, wives and husbands, <clears throat> that's just, just a few of us here, but you want, you, you want the world to see you with your husband. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. Because that's Christ in the church. Mm -hmm. <coughs> You, want, you don't want to go anywhere and leave your wife somewhere and you over here and your wife over there. Or you leave your husband, he's over there and you over here. Mm -hmm. What Satan is doing right now, he's still making these marked yeah. lines. Yeah. Yeah. And the little devious mind that's out there that sees this stuff, 
he or she that's books ready today. Oh, that, oh, she's over there. A... You think the devil is this? Must have some trouble in the marriage. Yeah, he's got some trouble in the marriage. They, they must not be getting along. Mm -hmm. yeah. You think, don't you think it is bigger than that? You have to think that. That's why Christ said, you know, bones of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Ease, mm -hmm. you were bone of his flesh. Adam said, bone of my bone and flesh of my bone. And that's, that one should, should be called what? White. 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 Don't ever think that uh, Satan is around trying to do something mm -hmm. to come between you and your wife. Yeah. Or you and your wife may be getting along. But you need to get closer and closer and closer mm -hmm. so he can get no pride bar in there. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because he always said way he can make us, he can do something to say something to bring uh, detrimental uh, stuff to America. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thought I'd share that with you. Mm -hmm. Don't try to get him humble. Tell, tell Jesus on him. Amen. 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 Don't try to get her humble. Tell Jesus on him. Amen. Right? Amen. Call that. Stop trying to keep me straight. Tell Jesus on him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I love her. She has a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. and, uh, even unto she has a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but you have to be subject to Christ in order to be subject to one another. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. When you're subject to Christ, then quite naturally you're subject to one another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can't be subject to one another without being subject to Christ. Not in the, not in the spirit. You can out of duress, <laughs> out of threat, out of uh, anger or something like that. You can, but it's it's no good. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this morning for the teaching. Thank you this morning for what you shared with us through the book of Timothy. That prayer is always the key to uh, uh, in, the, in the church decline. That we, don't, we, that we don't be part of it, Jesus. We'll stay with you. Yes, we'll claim with you. And we'll see what the end is going to be. Amen. Thank you now. In thank Jesus' you. name and for his sake. Amen. Amen.